Some of you are asking me how to get better at maths. Chalk and tuna. Let's answer this question. So, prove this is this. All right, a little bit awkward because we've got four theta, theta, three theta. Three theta is a difficult angle because there's no double angle rules. I'm thinking about the addition rules. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is break down sine four theta. Now remember, sine two theta is two sine theta cos theta. So if we have four theta, it's gonna break down to two theta. So this becomes two sine two theta cos theta, uh, cos two theta minus eight sine cubed theta cos theta all over sine theta. Okay, now the issue with this is that nothing cancels. I want to get rid of this as well. I'm going to use the double angle on double angle ID on this so that I can cancel with this because this will cancel with that to make sine squared. So here we have two, then sine two theta is two sine theta cos theta times cos two theta minus eight sine three theta or sine cubed theta cos theta all over sine theta. Now, this sine theta cancels with this one and it will cancel with this one to make squared. Now remember, we're still thinking about the double angle IDs. Um, I don't want to, you can see that there's this cos theta, right? I don't want to factorize it out because I'm thinking about cos three theta. I'm looking for cos, cos, sine, sine. Remember the addition rule for cos? Goes cos, cos, minus or plus, sine, sine. That's the kind of form I'm looking for here. Here I have that cos, cos. So I have four, cos theta, cos two theta. That's great, because that's in this form. The problem's over here. What do I need to do over here? So I have minus eight. Um, I want sine, sine. Uh, so sine theta, I ideally want sine two theta like this. Well, this sine squared cos theta, I'm thinking about the addition rule for sine. If I rewrite this, eight is four times two. I can write sine theta cos theta. Yeah, but remember it was sine squared, right? So if I just have sine, I'm gonna write sine theta here. Nothing's changed. Eight sine squared cos. Now this, I can rewrite as sine two theta. So I'm left with four cos theta cos two theta minus four, then this whole bit is sine two theta, and then we have sine theta, and there we go. You can factorize out the four as well if you want. And there's your addition rule for cos, it becomes four cos now remember, C, the cos addition rule, changes the sign, so it becomes plus. We're adding the two angles, which is four cos three theta. And that's proved, nice.